Okay, the they color... They don't have that many colors to choose from, though. No, that's true, too. You got a point there. The color of the, uh, the outer color of a common rainbow, which was red, and uh, Kelly Lapino knew that. Son of a gun, what a smart kid. I never would have, uh, never would have uh, guessed that myself. And uh, congratulating Debbie Texera and uh, Ken Davis. They're our winners as well tonight so far in trivia, and they will get a WBET keychain. These things are going hot and fast, and once this supply is gone, it's gone for good. New prizes are in the way, uh, on the way, and we uh, will have them in shortly, and when the uh, supply of keychains is gone, that's it. So if you'd like to get in, we have a couple of weeks left. Basically, the supply will probably be gone. And uh, just to run down a couple of the rules again, uh, certainly invite anybody to play along. If you have won anything from the station within the last four weeks, unfortunately, we can't send you a keychain, but we'd still love to have you play along. And if you do get a question right, just let me know that you've won something in the last four weeks, and uh, we won't be able to uh, send it to you, but uh, certainly uh, appreciate having you play along tonight. 586-1460 is the phone number. We'll get to another question in just a minute. Hi, WBET. You're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Uh, her name is Terry Lupino. Oh, whoops. Okay. That was Kel... Oops, okay. <laughs> Terry's mom. Just call me back to correct that. Okay. I didn't... T-E-R-I. Un- T-E-R-I. Okay. I didn't understand her with her little voice there. <laughs> Thanks for correcting okay. it. Okay, bye bye now. <laughs> All right, 7:30 at WBET, and let's see. We do have one question out, and uh, that is, which you perhaps have perhaps learned in your history class somewhere along the line. That question is, Jim. I was still looking for Popeye's perpetual age. How old is Popeye? Popeye the Sailor Man. You know, um, Rod Dillman does a very good impression of Popeye. We should have him come in to do we some should. sound effects for this. Um, we'll see what we can do. All right, watch that. Have you found another question in there? Oh, we've got another question. Let's go to a music group this time. A musical group. How appropriate for a radio station. What singing group originally called themselves the Primes? Ooh. What singing group originally called themselves the Primes? 586-1460. If you know the answer to that or to how old Popeye the Sailor Man is. One thing I would like to tell you about is our uh, broadcast tomorrow. On behalf of the Heart Association, that's coming up tomorrow between noon and four in the afternoon. Steve Mason is on the road. He'll be in the WBET mobile studio down at Brockton City Hall Plaza. Uh, he's there on behalf of the American Heart Association's Jailathon. Now, this is all to raise money for the Heart Association, the great work they do, also a lot of research. Hope you can come on by and support them. Now, what's going to be going on tomorrow at City Hall Plaza will be a Jailathon. Now, many notables from the area will be thrown in jail. And the way to get them out is to raise bail money. And uh, that all comes from your support. And the jail money will get them out of jail, and all that money will go directly to the Heart Association. So stop by the mobile studio tomorrow afternoon. Steve Mason on the road from noon until 4 tomorrow afternoon. That's taking place over at Brockton City Hall Plaza. All right, 586 1460 is the phone number. Here's Popeye himself. Oh, hang on, call just a minute. Rod, I, s- I said we have a Popeye question out on trivia tonight, and I said that there's a certain guy around here that does a great impression of Popeye. <laughs> Hey, this is Popeye speaking. <laughs> That's not bad. How old are you, Popeye? That's not Don't bad. tell her. This is a trivia question. <laughs> old enough to know better, but too young to resist. Olive oil, don't listen. <laughs> Very good. Right not bad me. for an FM country guy, i got to admit. <laughs> I've I got to come over and teach you AM guys something. <laughs> 586, 1460. Thank you, Rod Dillman, from our sister station across the hall. Hi, WBET. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Sorry to keep you waiting there. We just had a distraction from across the hall. How are you doing tonight? Good. Good. What can we do for you? Um, is Popeye 25? Ooh, now that sounds more like in the range where I would guess, Jim. Jim Larkin, yep. ooh, is looking at the correct answer and he gives us the big thumbs down. He's a little older than 25. Oh, there's a hint for you. Thanks very much for calling. Okay. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. 586-1460 is the phone number, 27 to go before 8 o'clock. And let's see. So a couple of questions. Popeye's age is what we're looking for. Also, a musical group that originally called themselves, Jim? The Prime. The Prime. 586-1460. Hello, WBET. You're on the air. Hello. Um, is um, Popeye um, 27? Ooh, another good guess. This has to be right, Jim Larkin. No, he's Ooh. not right. Not another yet. thumbs not down. 27. Thanks very much for calling. Yep. Bye-bye now. Bye. 586-1460. As they guess at Popeye's age, was he older or younger than Olive Oil? I would guess he was I a little... I really don't know. That's another good question, huh? I, think I guess he was a, a little bit older, would be my guess. Just by a few years, just looks sort of dainty and a little young, you know? So yeah. See, now, I can see your mind world. You wish you had great questions like these <laughs> I know. on Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, all this intellectually... I'll steal your trivia books for Sunday night. Intellectually stimulating material right here on WBET. 
<laughs> All right, five eight six fourteen sixty. Hello, you're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Good and you. Not bad, thanks. Is Popeye twenty three? Ooh, twenty three years old, Jim. No, he wasn't twenty three. All right. He's older than twenty five. What was that now? Thirty five. <laughs> no. Thanks very much for calling. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye bye now. All right. He's older than twenty five. Jim Larkin has thrown out that clue being a soft hearted guy that he is trying to help you out and win a WBET keychain. If you haven't won anything from the station in uh, four weeks, we certainly invite you to uh, win something. But even if you have, we certainly invite you to play along with us tonight. Debbie, Ken, and Terry so far have won keychains here on Trivia. We do it every Wednesday night at WBET. Hello, WBET. You're on the air. Hello. Um, it's Popeye 27. I mean, 26. 26. Yeah, he's trying to split the difference between 25. No, he's not 26. Oh, another Sorry. good guess. Thanks for calling. It has <laughs> I think this is the rotating phones in this one family here. Popeye's age is what we're looking for, and a musical group that originally called themselves the Primes. Five eight six fourteen sixty. The Women's Fellowship of the Mount Moriah Baptist Church celebrating their annual Women's Day with a presentation of the drama Women Who Believed God. Now, the program will be given on Sunday, May 25th, beginning at 5 in the evening. The church is located at 24 Pleasant Street in Brockton. For more information, just give them a call at 5880-833, 5880-833. And when you need to know what's happening, turn to us right here at 1460 WBET. Hi, WBET, you're on the air. Hi, is Popeye supposed to be 29? 29, oh, that sounds like it might be right. Jim Larkin. No, sorry. Oof. Oh, I'm so sick of hearing that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, uh, we don't mean to turn you off, so we'll try, we'll try and get a winner very soon. Okay, okay thanks. Okay, bye-bye now. All right, so we'll forget asking that question. Uh, don't want to irritate anybody, that's for sure. So we will ask uh, who's... Uh, uh, the question obviously is still out, but we will also uh, ask uh, what musical group originally called themselves the Primes? Ah, WBET. Well, Hi, you're on the air. Is, uh, is uh, Popeye 57? 57, no. Jim? A lot younger than 57. Oh, okay, that's a little high. Younger than that? Younger yeah. than that. Oh, that's the same years ago. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for calling, sir. Bye-bye now. All right. All right. 25 was closer. 25 closer than 57. So he's in between 25 and 57 and skew it a little bit towards the young side. And he's older than I am. And he's, old <laughs> <laughs> and he's older than uh, I think we both are, probably, would be my guess. But 586-1460. Uh, Hello, WBET. You're on the air. Hi, Peter. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? How are you? Not too bad. Good. Um, what if he's 30? Ooh, 30, Jim Larkin. No, not 30. A good guess, Kevin. Oh, come on, will ya? Oh, well, you know, hey. You, you can't imagine a 53... To 25. That's uh, kind of kind of weird, you know what I mean? No, no, no. All we said was that he is older. Someone guessed 25. We said he's older than 25. Right. And so, someone... so it's a wide mind, and how's anyone going to get it? They're no, no, no. I'm saying one. I'm just saying he's younger than 57. That's all. Speaking of trivia questions, I got one for you. All right, fire away there, Kevin. All right. Who wrote the book, Uncle Tom's Cabin? Jim Larkin? Uncle Tom's Cabin. I should know that. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uh... What do we win if we get it, Kevin? Who knows? What do you want? Your, 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 uh, Mark es Twain? your esteem for a lifetime, right? Mark Twain? I will say Harriet Beecher Stowe. How do you know that, Peter? I'm just a smart person, Kevin. Thanks <laughs> a lot for calling. We'll talk to you later. Put it this way. I don't believe that. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well most people don't. I just try and fake it as best I can. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Bye-bye <laughs> uh, now. All right. Got to keep him guessing anyway, Jim, as best we can. What musical group called themselves the Primes? 586-1460. Here's the phone number. Hello, WBET. You're on the air. Hello. Hi. How are you tonight? Hi. Uh, is, is Popeye 32 years old? No, he's a little older. No, he's a little older. Okay. Uh, he's a little older than that. 586-1460 uh, is the phone number. Thank you for calling. Hang it up. I think that what we'll do, uh, perhaps, is uh, seeing this question. Is kind of the statute of limitations is running out on this question, too. The next person that gets it within one. Okay, why don't we give it to him, Jim? Okay. So as he's looking there. Next person to get Popeye's age within one, and we can lay this question to rest. 586 1460. Hello. Hello. Hi, you're on the air. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, what, uh, would you like to answer one of the questions? Yep. Okay, fire away. What question would you like to answer? The Popeye question. Fire away there, sir. Is he 39? No, he's younger than 39. Okay. okay. Nice guess, though. Bye-bye. 21 to go before 8 o'clock. 586-1460. Wednesday Night Trivia has about another 20 minutes to go. Oh, boy, they love this question. 586-1460. Hello? Hello. Is Popeye 37? No, he's not 37. 
All right. Still not within one. Good yeah. guess. Thanks very much. Is he younger or older? He's younger than 37. Younger than 35? Uh, we, uh, we can only give one clue per person. Yeah. Bye-bye now. I think it's just the same family. I think, like I said, they were going through... Oh. They're going through Here's a... Here's that winner on the Popeye question. Hi, WBET, you're on the air. Yeah, hi, let's do uh, the Popeye question. Yes, fire away. I hope you can. Believe me, I, I hope so you too. can. <laughs> Go ahead. 34? Jim. 34 is right. Oh! Is that right on the money? Is it what we said? 34 is right on right the money. Right on the money. Very right good. Right on the money. All right, it was by process of narrowing it down or elimination or something, right? Yeah. All right, very good. <laughs> uh, would you like a keychain, sir? Sure, why not? All right, hang on, and we'll get your address. Okay, and, uh, thank you. Very good. Thank you for calling. It's 20 minutes to go before 8 o'clock. We'll be back with another trivia question. We'll also be back to try and answer what musical group originally called themselves the Primes when we continue with more trivia on WBET 1460. <laughs> WBET, 1460 at 18 to go before 8 o'clock. And a congratulations to Steve Matasio. He finally told us how old Popeye was. That question certainly had got its life's wor worth of uh, time tonight, that's for sure. Okay, so uh, Debbie, Ken, Terry, and Steve so far are winners tonight. They win themselves WBET keychains. Appreciate everybody that's been calling up playing trivia. We have one question still out. We will get to another one in just a second. The question we have out right now, what musical group? was known originally as the Primes. 586-1460 is the phone number. Hi, WBET, you're on the air. Hello, um, I missed how old Popeye was. 34. Oh. Son of a gun, you guys came up with every number except that, I think. We were going to say 35 this time. Oh, you know, you would have just been within one, too. Okay. Oh, well. Next time, though. Okay. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. All right, so what musical group originally called themselves the Primes? And you got another question in there, Jim, somewhere? Sure. All right. Grab another All one. right. Grab another one. Although famous for establishing the Nobel Peace Prize, Alfred Nobel amassed his fortune after inventing what commodity? Ah, son of a gun. The Nobel Peace Prize. And uh, Alfred Nobel really became rich after he invented something. And uh, what is that? 586-1460. If you'd like to take a guess at either of these questions. Hi, WBET. You're on the air. Hi, Peter. Hi, Jim. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Good. How Hello. you doing? Hi, Jim. Hello. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. What can we do for you, Kathy? I think I know the question to my answer. You know the question to your answer? Yes. Uh, what's your answer? And maybe we can figure what's out the question. question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused, too. Okay. What did you want to tell us, Kathy? The, que the answer to that first question. Yeah. I think it's the platters. The... Yes, what uh, musical group originally called themselves the Primes? Is yeah, the, the Platters. No, it's not the Platters. Oh, man. A good guess. Oh, man. We wouldn't lie to you, though, Kathy. Oh, well. <laughs> good guess, though. Okay. Thanks, Kathy. Uh, thank bye -bye. you, Jim. Okay, bye-bye. 586-1460 is the phone number of the Platters. A good guess. Hmm. What a rig uh, musical group originally called themselves the Primes. And the second question is, uh, what did Alfred Nobel invent? That uh, he made a fortune on. All right. 586-1460 is the phone number if you know the answer to either of these questions. Hi, WBET. You're on the air. Hi. I called earlier. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the Nobel, Mr. Nobel invented nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen probably already existed when he was around, but the answer... Now, the answer is not nitrogen. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Well, that's, that's okay. okay. Good guess. Thanks for oh, calling. Have a good evening. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye now. 586-1460. 15 to go before... 8 o'clock, I'll tell you what we'll do right now. Take a break, check in with Lou McNally, and get your Metro South forecast. Good evening, everybody. Here's your latest forecast. For the Metro South listening area, mostly cloudy skies tonight. There'll be some patchy fog, and there are a few scattered showers and thunder showers about. This will continue through until tomorrow. Overnight lows in the upper 50s, daytime highs tomorrow, upper 60s. Tomorrow night, we've got long, steady, heavy rains on the way. I think we can get most of the rain out of the way in time for the weekend. At this hour, that's the way it looks from here for 1460 WBET. This is meteorologist Lou McNally. All right, hanging right around 64 degrees. On the outside, CNN Radio coming your way in about 15 minutes to let you know what's happening around the world. And Lou will be back with another forecast right after news at 8 o'clock. Coming up next hour, we will run down local and regional news for you right here at 1460. And you're on the air. Hi, WBET. Hi. Uh, Nobel invented uh, uh, discovered dynamite. That's right, dynamite. Son of a gun. He certainly did. Isn't it kind of a contradiction in uh, 
Like in, he made all his money off of dynamite, and yeah. of course the Nobel Peace Prize is yeah. his name. Kind of ironic. All right, sir. Very good. Did you just remember that? Was that a guess, sir? I had a good idea. You had a pretty good idea. Okay. Would you like a WBET keychain? Sure would. All right. Hang on just a minute. We will get your name and address and all that kind of good stuff. All right. Jim will be right with you. All and right, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for calling. We appreciate it. We're sitting around a kitchen table discussing the uh, question. Oh, well, very good. Appreciate you uh, listening. Thanks very much. Look it up. All righty. 14 to go before 8 o'clock. And uh, as I mentioned, CNN Radio at the top of the hour, one story you'll probably be hearing about. Jackie Presser, indicted last week on racketeering and embezzlement charges, has been uh, overwhelmingly elected to a five-year term as president of the Teamsters Union. CNN around with details on that and other stories. Red Sox wrapping up their home stand tonight against the Minnesota Twins. Hurst going to the mound, and he will be opposed by Mike Smithson. Big one in the NBA tonight. Houston trying to eliminate the defending champion Los Angeles Lakers. Can you believe it? The Houston uh, Rockets could eliminate L.A. tonight. That game being played in L.A. Now, if Houston wins, of course, they advance to the championship series against the beloved Green Machine. And a uh, night off in the NHL. Game four in that series will be played tomorrow night up in Montreal. Canadians lead Calgary two games to one. As the Canadians won last night by a score of 5-3. to three. We'll have sports in detail coming up in uh, a little under 45 minutes, just at about 8.30 tonight. Trivia has about 12 and a half minutes to go. Certainly invite your participation. Thanks very much to everybody that's been calling in tonight. And a uh, person just answered the question on Alfred Nobel's discovery of dynamite, of course, or his invention, rather. And uh, yeah, it's kind of strange, Jim. Ironic, of course. Well, dynamite was never invented with any... Uh, purpose in mind other than probably just as the, all other inventions are and it's how man put it to use the kind of ironic. I would hope not. No, kind of ironic. And uh, congratulations to Joe Green of Abington as uh, he answered that question. And our other question that's out, hasn't gotten, haven't gotten any responses to this one. We're all our music fans. And the question is, Jim? What singing group originally called themselves the Primes? Well, actually, I take it back. Kathy took a shot with the platters. And other than that, that was the only guess that we had. So uh, if you're a music fan, dig back into that college of musical knowledge and who called themselves the primes probably they did probably didn't call themselves that for too long i would imagine because this is a well-known group shall we say very well known. okay yeah. so it's nothing obscure a well-known group they call themselves the primes and uh, why don't we try one other question fire another one out there jim okay averaging a height of 60 feet above sea level what's the lowest state in the united states ah okay geography geography a little geography uh question tonight. Now this is on the ad. Now this isn't necessarily the state with the lowest point in the United States, but on the average. Right. On the average. Okay. And an average is, what did you say, 60 feet? 60 feet above sea, sea level. level. It's the lowest state on average in the con- uh, I don't know if it's the continent. I shouldn't say that. So, because uh, I don't know. But uh, the United States anyway, of the 50 uh, some odd states. Which one's the lowest? 586-1460. If you have an answer you think to these or uh, that or the other question about uh, what musical group originally called themselves the Primes. I invite you to give us a buzz. Hello, WBET, you're on the air. Yeah. Yes, Kevin. Uh, I have a guess on the um, geography question. Fire away there, Kevin. Would it be Alaska? Alaska is, uh... No, too far away. Too far away, all yeah. right. Okay, thanks, Kevin. I'll try again. Uh, I'm sure you will. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. All right, coming up to 10 minutes to go. Before 8 o'clock, hanging right around to 64 degrees on the outside, and we will return right after this. Hello, Office of the Police Commissioner. No. Where? When? How? Who? Say no more. This sounds like a job for Chicken Man. I'll send out the emergency chicken and summon him immediately. Hold still, emergency chicken. This is an emergency. Go out yon window and summon the feathered fighter. Tell him he... Ah, Miss Helping, are three things. Send out for another emergency chicken. Call the winged warrior on your phone. And how'd you like to have dinner at my house tonight? Yes, chicken again. Stay tuned for another exciting Chicken Man adventure here on WBET. Brought to you by Village Gourmet Deli in the Stonehill Plaza, Route 123, Brockton. Here, Chicken Man on WBET at 8.45 a.m. and 3.50 p.m. Monday through Friday. 586-1460. We've got a few minutes left to go in this edition of Trivia. And that last question, Jim, once again is... Averaging a height of 60 feet above sea level, what is the lowest state in the United States? All right, 586-1460, if you'd care to take a stab at that one. The Korean War Veterans Committee reminds everyone there will be a hearing 
On a bill to honor Korean War veterans coming up Wednesday, May 28th at the State House on Beacon Hill, the hearing will convene in room 424 at 1030 in the morning for discussion of bills S-1780. Interested parties are urged to attend and show support for the 16 under 20 Bay State residents who gave their lives for America in the Korean War. When you need to know what's happening, turn to us at 1460 WBET. About eight and a half to go before news time, eight and a half before eight o'clock. And if you can tell us what's the lowest state in the United States in terms of how many feet above sea level it is, and it's 60 feet, it averages, uh, what state is that? Or if you can tell us what musical group originally called themselves the Primes. Son of a gun, that's a good, I like, kind of like that question. I, may I just, thought that uh, one would go right away. I may just save that until uh, next week. I think we'll try and, uh, try and maybe get the state one before we go, and if we don't get it, we'll probably give that answer. But maybe I'll keep that Primes one until next week, kind of carry that one over. Kind of like that one myself. 586-1460, if you care to answer any of those two questions, as trivia continues on WBET. Name of the singing group that originally called themselves the Primes, and we're also looking for the lowest state in the United States at a height of 60 feet above sea level. Okay. If you know the answer to either of those questions, 586-1460, we'll get you through. If you haven't won anything in the last four weeks, we'd be very happy to send you a WBET keychain. Don't forget, speaking of sports, coming up at 11.07 a night till midnight, as it does each night of the week, the WBET Sports Final with Bob Melvin. And he'll give you the whole rundown on the scoreboard from the American National League. Of course, the NBA playoffs, big game tonight, L.A. and Houston. NHL playoffs, which will resume tomorrow night. And uh, features, highlights, interviews, a whole lot of stuff. The Sports Final, 11.07 to midnight, seven days a week right here at BET. I'd like to remind you once again, tomorrow between noon and 4 p.m., Steve Mason broadcasting live from Brockton City Hall Plaza. He'll be there in the WBET mobile studio. It's all for the American Heart Association's Jailathon to raise money for the Heart Association and all the great work they do. Hope you do come on by and at least say hello to Steve. He'll be in the van. And please, any donations that you might be able to make, certainly very much appreciated. Abilities Unlimited, inviting physically disabled persons to participate in dancing and socializing in the evening at the Knights of Columbus Hall on East Street in Brockton. Now, the socials will take place every Monday night. Except holidays, beginning at 7 o'clock, dial a bat service will be available for residents of the Brockton area. If you'd like more information, you can give them a uh, call at 584-1539, 584-1539. About four minutes to hop aboard this edition of the Wednesday Night Trivia. And if you can tell us which musical group originally called themselves the Primes, or which state in the United States is the lowest, geographically speaking, only being an average of 60 feet above sea level, either of those questions, we'll send you a keychain. Hi, WBET, you're on the air. Um, I called to, uh, about the lowest state in Massachusetts. Fire, uh, well, it's not the, uh, the lowest state in the country. Yes, yes, fire away. Is it Mississippi? Mississippi, Jim Larkin. No, it's not Mississippi. Uh, good guess, though. Okay. Thank you for calling. Bye. Bye-bye now. 586-1460. We've had Mississippi and, uh, what the heck was the other one? Kevin, Kevin guessed Alaska. What's, and what's the question? Look what else, was close look what else, uh, what's the question? is, uh, Rod Dillman once again coming in. Oh, you know, finally we got Popeye's age. Do you know how old Popeye was? He's uh, old enough to know better, I'll tell you. He's old enough <laughs> to know better. 34 years 34. old, finally we got his age. 586 high WPET, you're on the air. Oh, is that the lowest state, Florida? Ooh, Florida would be a good guess, Jim Larkin. Not Florida. Didn't Not know. Florida. No. Thanks very much for calling. Oh, bye-bye. Whoops. What's the question? Uh, Jim? At a height of 60 feet above sea level, what's the lowest state in the United States? Uh, don't. If you know the answer to this one, don't say it too loud. 60 feet on the average. Not that we'd expect you to know it, of course. I wouldn't. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's sort of assuming a lot. He'll get me back for that one. <laughs> Hi, WBET, you're on the air. You know, I got another guess on the uh, low state. Uh, we asked uh, one guess per question, Kevin, if you can. You got a guess on the uh, other singing group there? Uh, no. But I have another trivia question for you, too. Fire away there, Kevin. Jim and I can answer. We answered the last one, right. I think. Other than zero, what is the only other number? But when they use the same result, when they add it to itself and multiply by itself. Uh, would you get that, Jim? No, try that one more, Kevin. One more time. You want to ask that? Right. right. Other than zero. Other than zero. The only number that use the same result when they add it to itself and multiplied by itself. One. And multiplied by itself? Right. I would have to be in, what, are you thinking of something like infinity or something? No, I'm not. It's, ve- it's one. one very simple number. One. Well, if you add one to one, you don't get one. 
One and oh, one, you get two. Oh, okay. Or, mu- oh, yeah, multiply by itself, that would work. Right. Add it to itself, it does, so what would it be? Uh, no, it wouldn't be minus one. Two. Uh, two? Bingo. Two plus two is four, two times two is four. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't understand the question. Gets the same. Oh, gets the same result when you yeah, add. That's what I said. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, my mistake, Kevin. I misunderstood you. Very good. Very good. But Thanks. I guess where I got that from. Uh, I I hesitate to ask. Yes. Would you? Are you on the show with Jeopardy? Yes, I certainly did with Art uh, Fleming. Final Jeopardy. That was one of the questions. All right. No one got it. Either. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Bye bye now. Bye bye. All right. Five eight six fourteen sixty. About forty five seconds left. If you can tell me. The name of the singing group that originally called themselves the Primes or the lowest state above, uh, in terms of height above sea level in the United States. And, Jim, we're going to take this one down. I think I'm going I'm I'm to uh, carry that musical question over until next week just because I like it. I don't know why. Just do whimsical things like that. And, uh, it's we, a good question. All right. We'll have to maybe uh, – do, should I carry the state one over, too, do you think? Oh, why that, not? Is that asking a little much? Why not? Uh, you think so? Give them a week to look it up. Yeah, that's true, too. We'll have everybody in the line that's been to their encyclopedias over the uh, week. All right, what the heck. We'll, uh, we'll keep them both for next week, next Wednesday night, and we'll do it again. Jim Larkin, very, uh, thanks very much for hopping in. It's a lot of fun. Hey, thank you, Jim. All right, thank you, in. Jim. Very good, and that's going to do it for this edition of Trivia. CNN Radio News is next, and we will talk to you again on the other side. This is WBET 1460 in Brockton. It is 8 o'clock.